Hello everybody. I decided to make a tutorial so everybody can make a basic Pikmin 2 mod. There have been so many cool looking ROM hacks for this game that either came out or were announced recently like Pikmin 2 Power Cut, Picky 2, Pikmin 2 off the menu, there's so many. I want to step in and make it easier for people to join such a vibrant community. In order to do this you will need a few things. Well more than just a few. First, there are many resources to help make the process easier outside of this video, like the Pikmin Technical Knowledge Base and Hakate Hacker, the Pikmin Hacking Community Discord server. Those will be the resources that you should go to when you have questions, as I am not the person to ask about troubleshooting problems with any of the software or the game itself. Speaking of software, there is a long list of software that you need to download for editing every single file type that Pikmin 2 uses, but the main ones are GameCube Rebuilder, Luna Boy's Rock Tools, and Notepad++. These are the basic ones that will be used in practically every tutorial in this series. The rest, however, do make it much easier to modify other files. All of the software used in each tutorial will be in the description of that video. Anyway, let's get on to how to use the basic tools in Pikmin 2 Hacking, as well as navigating the file structure. Okay, so, unfortunately, this will probably not work on Mac. Well, really Mac OS, because I'm using a Mac for this. You can install Windows on it, it's not that hard. Well, for me it was, but that's another story. What you will need is GameCube Rebuilder, Notepad++, and a bunch of other software that are all in the description below. And you will also need a Pikmin 2 ROM. Now, you should get these from your own games because piracy is illegal and I will not be responsible for any piracy allegations against you basically because you should get it from your own games I own the game what I have here is Pikmin 2 hacking folders which has all the software in it as well as Pikmin 2 roots which will be important later. this is GameCube Rebuilder this is your interface of how to recompile the files into a usable ROM file or ISO file and how to deconstruct the original ISO file so you could edit the files. Now, you would normally go to image open but this defaults, you could set this to default to your ROM folder so it's easier later, you'll see why. These are all the ROMs and ROM hacks that I've made slash downloaded like Pikmin 251, New Year, all that stuff. But most, if, if you want to decompile the files or whatever the heck, you would want to go locate your ISO and drag it into GameCube Rebuilder like this. Because if you try to drag it into this application, it won't work. You could also use the image open, but that is not recommended. Or, well, it doesn't really hurt anything, but it's just not as convenient. Anyway, while you're here, you right-click Root, click Export. And now it'll choose a place for you to export it. Now for me, I'll just choose the desktop for now. I would suggest putting it all of your roots in a folder. Um, just word of advice, do not name the actual root folder. Put it in a folder that's named because it could screw things up. Like it has been, it has for me in the past. Click OK and it will do its thing. Okay, now that it's done, you can close this, and now it is on your desktop. Alright, so now that you have your root, you can just open it, and there are a lot of folders and a lot of other stuff here. Now, for our purposes, we will be mo mostly focusing on these. All this stuff is mostly just other debug things and stuff that you really won't touch. There's also the boot DOL file, which is what is actually used to boot the game. Now, this is what's called the executable. If you hear anyone talking about on the Discord server about the executable, that's what this is. The rest of these, game.talk, we'll talk about that later. Let's go through the folders one by one. Audio res mainly contains music stuff, like stream. This is all of the streamed music in the game. All of these. We will, I will show you how to edit these later. 
sec sequ These are all the sequenced musics. These is there an ARC files? There's also SCS files. They're really just other forms of compression like zip and 7z and rar and all that stuff. Banks contain all of like the musical instrument stuff and sounds. We really won't be editing these because they're not that easy to. They're all .aw, which is not really a common type. Then th there's also BGM list, which we you could touch if you want to change music in certain areas. However, usually all the programs will just edit this automatically. So we won't really be touching that. Next is banner. You could also edit these. They're not that hard. There are PNG to BNR things. Then there's enemy, which contains all enemy data. Well, like for the parameters. There's parm, which contains this file called en enemy parms, which has all the enemy parameters in it. That's fun to edit. Data. These are all the enemies. Like you have all the models and like, animations and stuff. Next is memory card. We won't be touching that folder at all. Message. These, I don't remember what these are. I think these are opening cutscenes or something. I don't remember. We won't be touching that either. New screen. Um, these are like language and other types of that kind of region settings. THP, we won't be touching this at all. And the final folder, user, is the most, is the folder that we'll probably be editing the most because it contains its own set of folders with all of the main developers of the game. Each of these folders contains different types of data, like ABE is mostly cave definitions and lighting files. Definition files, mostly. For the Pikmin, time, you know, all that stuff. Then there's Ebisawa, which contains title stuff, Kando, which Contains a lot of the models, like all the areas. Kuno, we won't be touching this folder probably. This contains mail. Matoba, challenge mode stuff, unused, I think. Morimura, doesn't have anything in it. Muki, contains all the cave definition files, like these are all of the caves in the game. Notice how they're just TXT files, which, you know. Nishimura contains camera stuff. Ogawa doesn't have anything. Tataka is music. But it, it'll mostly be ABE, Ebisawa, Kando, and Muki. Those are the main four folders we'll be editing. So, how do you get this back into a usable format? So now, you close out this. You open GameCube Rebuilder. Go to Root. Open. Now find your root. Here it is. Now that it's in here, Hit, click root, save, save somewhere, like test hack, let's just say. You can replace that. Most of the time, you won't want to make a new root for, or make a new ISO for every root you have, because the ISO files are huge. They're one gigabyte, one and a half gigs each, so you won't want to take up so much storage in your computer. Next, you click rebuild, and it will rebuild it, and then... Now for the sake of ROM hacking, now you can close this. What you'd want to do is you want to download a developer version of Dolphin Emulator because they have extra settings that the regular version doesn't. So click on Dolphin. There's a new update. I don't feel like doing that. So here are all your ROMs and all your configs. You could set up your controller, configure. I have like a GameCube controller for the Switch that I use. You could download save files. D Dolphin is not part of this tutorial, you just need it. But you click open, click test hack, no this is just going to be vanilla Pikmin 2 because I overwrote something that you know, didn't have any modifications done to it. So let's just play this one. And there you go, it'll play. And yeah, that's how you play your hacks. If it crashes, you might need some troubleshooting stuff to be done. Ask the Discord server. All the links will be in the description. That That's it for this first tutorial. Next one will be how to edit overworld areas.